mindset is you managing yourself. Um, and so the example that I'll give is like you could have two people go to a spa day and they have identical external treatments. They're having the exact same external experience, but one of the people internally, the way that they're managing themselves is they're thinking, this is so peaceful. I'm having a great time. I'm so glad I did this. I'm not worried about anything. Like this is the great way for me to spend like, you know, my one short life, all of that jazz. And then the other person internally is thinking, I have so much to do. I shouldn't have spent my money this way. I feel guilty for being here. I like, as soon as I finish this, I've got to go do these other things. They're making like a mental checklist. And so at the end of that experience, both people had identical external experiences. It's that internal management, that internal experience that ends up determining who is burned out at the end of the day. Um, And I really think that that just brings home that so much of it is that personal management. And if you can do that well, and you can just start to hear your thoughts, start to pay attention to how you're doing that, you can talk yourself down from most stressors. And uh, as much as we like to think it's all of these outside moving pieces. Sometimes it it definitely is, but it's like gentle parenting yourself through them makes it so much easier and better and more peaceful and creates a softer landing pad for you when things do get hard. Mm, Yeah. Because your peace ultimately comes from within. It, It starts with what you're telling yourself in your mind. I love talking about mindset because it, it really is like the starting point for how you experience your life. Like you said, you can have the same exact external experience, but it it's all sh- it all gets filtered through the mind. So yes. whether it, it's it's positive or negative, that's on you, actually. Definitely, that's actually mm-hmm. another concept where it's like if you if you if people who for people who trouble or have trouble visualizing mindset, imagine that the, with your thoughts are somebody strapped to your hip. Like, is that person an asshole? Like, is that somebody who's criticizing you and telling you to make yourself smaller and is embarrassed of you and is really hard on you? Um, and why would you want to be vulnerable, even just like with yourself, with that person strapped to you? Um, mm-hmm. And so there's so much vulnerability required in growth. Um, but why would you be if you've learned that person's just going to kind of slap my hand as opposed to that person being really supportive, comforting you, talking you through it, like challenging you and making you better. So if your mindset was strapped to you, would you not like them? And that is usually a, okay, let's back it up and introduce some, some different methods of personal management here. 